Hello everybody, JB of JB's Rattles. Today I'm going to talk to you about a topic that you really don't find too much information on. Uh, I'm going to talk about poop. Just not any poop, but snake poop. I'll get into it in just a minute here, but I want to say thank you to all my subscribers. Please keep subscribing to my channel, I really appreciate it. But if you could, keep your remarks uh, as clean as you possibly can, because kids will be watching this video. Um, the reason I want to talk about it is because uh, there's usually not a program I don't do that Kids don't ask me, hey JB, where do snakes poop from? Uh, what does it look like and what does it smell like? So I want to go over that today. And for one particular person, her name was Sarah. She was really curious and wanted to learn about snake poop. So this video is pretty much for her. So this is how it all starts. As you know, everything has to eat. So this is Big Guy. Big Guy is my Burmese python. He's almost 15 feet long. Well, Big Guy is eating a 10 pound, four ounce rabbit. That's huge. That's a massive amount of food. And the saying goes, the bigger the food, the bigger the poo. What goes in has got to come out. And this is where everything comes from. This is called a cloaca. It's actually in a way called the snake's privates, let's say. Now, the cloaca is found underneath the belly of the snake. And on big guys, it's actually found further up his tail because he has a long tail. But on this ball python, if you look, the cloaca is found closer to the end of the tail because it has a short, stubby tail. And depending on the species of snake, will depend where the cloaca is actually located. But it's always underneath the belly of the snake. Now I have two different piles of poop to show you. One is from Kiwi. Kiwi is my green Burmese python. And she's a beautiful snake. She ate an eight pound rabbit. And of course, this is hers. But this other one, this is big guy. This is big guy's poop. Now, when we take a close look at poop, you'll see that there's different things to it. I mean, you know, it, it looks a lot like ours. You know, it's got brown, it's got black. But if you look really carefully, you'll see this kind of fiber. It's actually not fiber whatsoever. It's actually the animal hair. Hair serves no purpose. It's really not nutrition in any kind of way, so the snake's going to get rid of it. And here's another question I get asked. Do snakes pee? Well, yeah, no. They don't pee like we pee. They don't have a bladder like we do. When our bladder fills up, we have to release and we pee. Snakes don't do this. When they pee, they pee and poop at the same time. It comes out of the same opening. So this is what we call uric acid. And what we're looking at is uric acid. This yellowish and this whitest stuff is snake urine. And like it's poop, it has an odor. And the reason why snakes don't pee like we pee is because it actually helps the animal conserve water, which is really important when it comes to survival. And here's something else that a lot of people don't realize. Did you know that snakes can hold their poo sometimes for weeks, sometimes for months? A lot of reasons for it. Maybe it's to help the snake look bigger, more intimidating when it comes to predators, or maybe it's because they want to make sure they get every bit of nutrient out of the animal, especially if food can be scarce. So does it smell? Absolutely. This, this stuff is right. Um, and it's taking everything I got just to, just to film it. But, you know, this is the responsibility when you have animals. It's the same thing as a dog, as a cat. You know, they're going to poop. You've got to clean up the poop. Um, and it smells. I don't know any poop that does smell good. So another question that I'm asked is, uh, what kind of bedding do I prefer to use? I honestly, I love aspen bedding. I know, it, you know, it costs a little bit, but it's just really great stuff. It's low in dust. It's really absorbent. So if a little water gets spilled or when the animal defecates, all i got to do is reach in there, grab the damaged stuff, throw it away, and replace it with new. So what kind of stuff do I use for my big snakes? I really don't want to use aspen bedding. It can cost a lot of money. And when you're putting something in an eight foot, eight foot by three foot cage, uh, that can get really costly. Newspaper. Newspaper works great too. In fact, most people that I know that have these animals use newspaper because it's really absorbent and it's sanitary and it's easy to clean up. That's why we use it for our, for our dogs when we're housebreaking our dogs. So all they got to do is take out the damaged newspaper, of course, with the mess in it. I always make sure I wear my gloves, don't want to touch raw poo. I roll it up, throw it away, it's a done deal. Put new newspaper in there, snake back in there, and I'm good to go. Well, I hope this helped you out. I hope that you understand now where snakes, uh, you know, poop from and everything else. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. Um, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And most of all, please keep your remarks clean for the kids. Thank you so much. God bless you, and have a great day.